back to my channel. So today I am super happy to finally be filming a makeup tutorial for you guys. I feel like it has been so long and I know I have been MIA for my YouTube and I apologize. I am definitely getting back into the swing of things and plan to start posting regularly again on my YouTube as well as my Instagram. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, my um, handle is Lisha Loves Makeup. So I'll list that down below if you guys are interested. Stop by as I post regularly on Instagram as well. But I really wanted to do something just glowy and dewy and just gorgeous for summer. So I actually centered this look around this eyeshadow. And this is from the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. I don't want to blind you guys here. Um, but it's this like coppery shade right here. I just thought it was so beautiful. I have been wanting to use this in a tutorial. So I said, okay, I'm going to center the look around this. So I kind of came up with this like coppery, bronzy, peachy look. And I'm absolutely obsessed. Um, I just think it's perfect for spring and summertime. I love to be glowy. I love to have shimmer on during the summer. So I was so happy with how this look came out. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Thank you for those of you guys who stuck around in my absence. I totally appreciate it. Um, welcome. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. That way you can catch my next video and we can stay connected. Otherwise, if you guys want to see how I get this glowy, coppery summer makeup look, just keep on watching. Alright guys, so first off, I'm going in with my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer, and I love to use this to conceal any blemishes that I have, and as you can see, I have this ugly horn growing out of my forehead, so I'm just concealing that before I go in with my foundation, and then I totally forgot that I didn't prime my face, so I'm going back in and priming my skin. I'm using my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, and I like to use this all over my face, it just gives me a nice smooth canvas, and then I like to go in with my Becca Ever Matte pore perfecting primer or something like that I take that to the center of my face um, mostly like to my t-zone area where I have larger pores and where I get oily so I just like to pat that into the skin this is a very thick primer so you have to kind of work in little patches or sections um, and really just press it into the skin and for foundation today, I'm going in with the Kevin Aquan Etherealist Foundation. And this is in the shade 07. And I'm just buffing that into my skin using my Kevin Aquan Foundation Brush. And I absolutely love this foundation for summer just because it's very lightweight. And it does have a luminous finish, but even with my oily skin, I can wear this as long as I prep my skin correctly. And now I'm going in with the Amazing Cosmetics Concealer in the shade Light Golden. And this is a new one for me that I've been testing out. I really enjoy it, but you have to be very careful not to apply too much product or it can get very heavy um, and it can crease under the eyes. So I've learned that if I use a small amount of product and just kind of dab that in with my finger and kind of warm it up before I actually go in and blend it out with my damp beauty blender, that this is just so flawless. It has great coverage. Um, it really brightens up my under eye area and it lasts so long throughout the day. And before I go in and set my under eye concealer, I first want to go in with my liquid illuminator. This is from Iconic London and this is the original liquid illuminator drops. And I take that on my beauty blender and just tap that on the cheekbones, the um, center of my chin, Cupid's bow, down the nose. And then I'm going to go in and do a little bit of cream contouring. I'm taking this Tarte Sculptor Stick and basically just, you know, contouring out the perimeter of my forehead, the hollows of my cheekbones, a little bit on the chin and jawline as well as the nose. And this is just going to warm up the skin as well. I'm blending this uh, out with a little stippling brush. And honestly, in retrospect, I probably would have used a different brush to blend this out. Um, I just didn't like the little brush and the way it was blending. But the actual product is very creamy and blends out pretty nicely. I think I've only used this like once before. And I just wanted to try it out just because I love using cream products in the summertime and then setting it with powders just because it lasts so much longer, especially if you're an oily skin girl. Um, I love the way this looks. And now I'm going to go back in and set that under eye concealer now that I've finished with all of my cream products. So I'm just tapping it out with my beauty blender just to make sure I get any creasing out. And then I'm setting that with a little bit of my RCMA No Color Powder and just basically pressing a light dust of that into the skin. And I'll do the same thing on my eyelids as well, just dabbing out um, to make sure that I got rid of all the creases and then setting that with a little bit of powder. This will just lock everything in and this is also going to act as my primer for my eyeshadows. And now I'm going to set my cream contour as well as further bronze up the skin with the ColourPop and Alexis Ren 
palette. This is the Topaz palette and I'm just using the bronzer shade to warm up the skin. This bronzer is very, very warm toned. Um, so if you don't like a warm toned bronzer, you will not like this. But I think it looks gorgeous, especially for the summertime. Um, but it's very pigmented and it's easy to go, get a little bit overboard <laughs> with this bronzer. So I went a little ham with it, but it's okay because I'll fix it and kind of blend it out with a little bit of translucent powder. Um, so basically just taking that, you know, the perimeter of my forehead, cheekbones, chin, jawline. I took a little bit down my neck as well. Um, and as you can see, I went a little heavy handed, but, um, I actually really love this bronzer. I think it looks gorgeous. It just gives you like a, like a nice sun kiss look. Um, but like I said, it's very pigmented. And now I'm going in with the Cover FX Mattifying Powder. This is in the shade Light, I believe. And I am just taking that to the center of my face where I tend to get a little more oily. And then I'm also going to kind of buff out a little bit of my bronzer because I went so overboard with it. Um, but just kind of buff that in and everything will come together in the end, especially after I apply like my blush and highlight and eyes and everything. And then I'm going to set this with my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray before I go in with my highlight. Now I'm going in with my Becca Opal Highlight and I'm just taking that to the high points of my cheekbones and placing that on top of that liquid illuminator. And this will just help um, to give you even more glow. And I like to do this when my face is a little bit damp just because it really like sinks into the skin um, rather than like looking too powdery on top of the face. So that's why I like to spray my face first and then go in with my highlight. So just taking that to all the usual places, the bridge of my nose, tip of the nose, Cupid's bow. And um, I hadn't used opal in so long and I honestly missed it. It looked so gorgeous. And for blush today, I'm going in with the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. This is in the shade Sweet and this is a little tiny mini guy. It's so cute. Um, but just taking that to the apples of my cheeks and just blending that up into my bronzer. And same thing, I go a little heavy with my blush and then I like to dust it away with a stippling brush and a little bit of translucent powder. Um, and this will just kind of blend your blush with your bronzer and your highlight and make sure everything is kind of nice and seamless. It kind of gives you more of like an airbrush look by buffing it all out. And for the eyes today, I'm going in with the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. And I'm taking the matte shade that comes in here. This is called Myth. And it's such a stunning transition color. I really love this. It has kind of like pink undertones. Um, but basically, I'm just building that up um, with my Morphe E27 blending brush and just putting that all into my crease um, and taking my time with building this color. And then I'm also going to dust a light layer of that onto the lower lash line. And I'm using that same brush. Um, if I just want like a nice, simple, diffused uh, amount of color on the lower lash line, I'll use a big brush like this um, because it won't give you anything too harsh or defined. Um, it just give you like a little bit of definition. And then I'm going in with this color, um, what is this called? Wings. And it's so stunning. It's like a coppery color. And this was just calling my name. Um, I first tried to apply it dry to my lid and it just wasn't cutting it. So I went back in and I wet it with some MAC Fix Plus and it is just so stunning. Like it's so foiled and metallic. Um, so I'm packing that onto my entire lid. Um, this shade was just calling my name. I had um, used some of the bright colors before, but never none of the like the more neutral tones and it was just so stunning. And then I'm going in with a tapered blending brush just to blend out those edges to make sure that there are no harsh lines between the lid shade and the transition shade and make sure everything is nicely blended. And then I'm going in with this color called Pixie, which is a gorgeous like peachy iridescent shade. And I'm taking that on my finger and just popping that to the center of my lid. I just wanted like a nice pop to the center, kind of like a little highlight, but this was actually lighter than I expected. So I went back in with that um, coppery shade and I just packed a little bit over it just to kind of um, tone it down a little bit and I actually really liked the way that it looked layered just because it gave it a lot of dimension and it looked like a very it just it just looks so good together and then I'm going in with this bronzy shade and I'm taking that to the lower lash line mostly like on the outer half of the lower lash line and this shade is called magic um, and I also wet my brush for this just to make it a lot more um, foiled and pigmented and then I'm going back into Wings, which is that coppery shade, and I'm taking that on the inner half of the lower lash line um, and just kind of blending that out into the, um, the more bronzy chocolatey shade. And it just looked so gorgeous with like a metallic lower lash line. And I took the peachy shade and I'm placing that on my tear duct. I also wet my brush for this just to make it very pigmented. And this just gave it a nice pop and really opened up the eyes. 
And then I'm taking like this little liner brush and I'm lining the upper lash line with that bronzy um, chocolate shade and giving myself like a little tiny wing as well just to kind of elongate the eyes and give it more of a cat shape. Um, and this just really helps to make the upper lashes look a lot thicker as well. And then moving on to lips, I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs liquid my Marc Jacobs lip liner in the shade Nudist, basically just lining the lips and then going in with Jouer Cosmetics liquid lipstick in creme brulee and this is a gorgeous peachy nude. So this is my base color and then I'm going in with Jouer Cosmetics papaya which is more of like a metallic liquid lipstick and I'm taking that mostly just to the center of my lips and then I'll kind of pat that in with my finger and make sure it blends nicely together. And then for the star of the show, I'm going with Jouer's lip gloss in the shade Skinny Dip. And I take this mostly to the center of my lips. And this just gives it like a gorgeous, glossy, golden shimmer over that peachy color. And I just love the way that it looks. I think it's so gorgeous for summer. And I popped on some falsies. I'm using the House of Lashes Iconic Lights. And I'm taking the Rimmel Eye Coal in the shade Nude to my lower waterline just to really open up the eyes. Of course, popping on some mascara. I'm using my Tarte Tartiste Lash Paint Mascara. And basically, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching as always. I plan to get back to filming on a regular basis for you guys. So thanks for hanging around. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.